Hi, it's Richard from Funfit Adventure, and we're here today with the Hero Camper. This is the camper that we sell, and it's from Denmark, and we sell it here in the UK. This is the Hero Ranger model, and we're going to do a little walk around video today and show you some of the features of this caravan and, uh, and some of the accessories as well. So the caravan itself is on a German knot chassis, similar to the other models that we that we sell. This one to tow is about 800 kilograms, depending on what accessories that you add on to it. And um, pretty easy and simple at the front here. We've got a handbrake on the front, a simple ball hitch, and um, a little jockey wheel on there as well. So very, very simple on the front to connect in. You've got your electrics on the front here that operate the lights on the back, which we'll show you when we get around the back. So let's have a look at the front here. So on the on the front, we have a, a nose box and uh, it gives you a bit of storage space up front here. And it's pretty, pretty deep box. It's got a little, little strap in it. Uh, this has got the, this has got the kitchen awning in at the minute, which we'll mention when we get around the back. Also on the front, this is a accessory on the Hero Ranger, is the solar panel here. So the solar panel wraps around up to the top of the roof there and keeps the, keeps the battery topped up inside the caravan especially when you haven't got an electric hookup this works really well if you're going off more off-grid camping so on this side of the mini caravan what you'll see is well we've got the electric hookup on the the front here and then we've also got the side awning and the side awning is uh, an extra as well on the hero ranger and a uh, very very simple mechanism to wind it out very similar to a standard caravan or motorhome awning. A couple of little legs on the front, comes down and uh, gives you some good shade and some good shelter. And also there's an option to have walls and a front on this as well. So you can completely enclose the front in a, uh, in a box and they've got windows on, on as well. So we'll close that back up. Okay, let's have a look around here. So on the side here, this has got, again, it's a, this is an option on the Hero Ranger. This is the, the spare wheel. You can see we've got quite um, decent, um, decent all-terrain tires on, um, as well as some nice black 17-inch uh, alloys on here as well. We've also got um, the, uh, the steps on the side here. The wheel arches, which are which are all climbable, climbable on, so they take 80, 80 kilograms. Great if you want to access some things up in the up in the roof. So they're quite handy. On either side here, we've got the the stabilizers. So the stabilizers, very very simple design. Slide down, lock it in place, and there's your stabilizer down. And there's one on one on each side. Some little information here on the uh, on the insulation on this on this caravan. We can see there's a stay comfortable down to minus 21 degrees Celsius here. So the the insulation is quite it's quite a thick thick panel, um, and we'll have a look at that when we open the door and have a look at the thickness of the of the walls. So it is quite a it's quite a warm trailer. You can use it all year round, not just not just for summer summer camping. So let's have a look around the back. So on the back here, a nice feature with the integrated lights. So your brake lights, your indicators are all integrated down this in this strip. So they're all LEDs and uh, they look pretty cool when you're driving around. You don't see really see them until you've actually got the electrics hooked up. So that's quite a quite a smart idea. In the back here, we've got the kitchen. So we'll open her up and let's have a look. We just push it up and it locks it in place. So you see we've got a bit of a bit of cover in this area here. Gives us a little bit of cover from the rain, not a lot. So if you wanted more cover, if the weather was really bad, there is a option to put a, a kitchen awning on the back here. And we've got to have two different two different options. So you see there's a piece of sail track that runs along the top of the, the kitchen here. 
and uh, the awning just slides into there it comes over the top comes out to about about here and um, and then it stops halfway down and so that's the, the sort of half size awning and then there's a full size awning that has a zippable piece off the bottom that takes you all the way down to the ground so you know enough space to fit a little table a couple of chairs in the back here so you could actually use this area for a bit of dining um, with the kitchen there as well so it sort of closes this in quite nicely if the weather's if the weather's bad so let's have a look and see what we've got in the kitchen stainless steel workbench with uh, with an integrated sink on the top here we we've got the tap and there is a water pump that comes from the water container which is housed in this drawer 18 liters water container very simple unscrew the lid off fill the water in and you're ready to go and a bit of storage at the at the back here and the water is uh, there's a little plug here the water just simply runs down to the bottom down to a tube put a bucket underneath and catch the catch the dirty water very very simple design and then in the back of the cabinet here we've got some electrics so we have mains electrics as well as 12 volt in the back there and that's because in this drawer this drawer is designed to have a fridge or cool box or electric powered cool box that can go in this drawer and then plug directly into the 12 volt so if you're on a mains hookup you can uh, plug it into the mains as well at the back there we've also got some storage drawers three drawers three different sizes fit pots and pans in the bottom one and then on the top here we have uh, we have the light so the strip light is integrated into the into the kitchen along the back here and we've also got 12 volt and mains two mains sockets in the back here so if you're on a mains hookup you want to have some electrical devices kettle or if you want to have a coffee machine you can add all that into the back here in, in the kitchen so to close it down all we do is push up a little bit push on the lock and down it comes very simple to close there we go so if we continue around this side you see we've got the the ladder to access what's called the uh, the sky mount on the top so this sky rack is um is standard with the ranger as well as the as well as the ladder on the side here so it's a it's a simple matter of just jumping up up here access onto the roof you can strap lots of things to the roof or you could put a, a roof box up here and there's also an option to add a rooftop tent which is the sky box to the roof and the sky box is a is a fiberglass shell rooftop tent with gas struts inside open up the clips and the tent rises up and it gives you space for two people to sleep on the top with a with a ladder as well so you could use this ladder and also comes with a ladder so you have a couple of different different options depending on how you want to, to get up there with a the door on either side so that's really handy if you want to add some more accommodation to the top got light on the outside here and let's have a look on the inside the doors all clipped back and uh, you've got little blinds on the on the windows here and then we can unclip the window we've got a fly net which also slides back and forwards so and also some little pockets on the on the doors here as well so let's have a look on the inside just take my shoes off all right here we go come and have a look on the inside so there's quite quite a lot of space on the inside of the hero campus uh, you'll see we do another model which is the hero traveler exactly the same on the inside so you've actually got quite a quite a high ceiling i can i can kneel up which makes it very easy to to get ready get undressed get ready in the mornings quite a nice nice space to do it and um and people sometimes think oh well is the is the bed long enough well the good thing is with the the bed in the hero campus you can see it's uh, it's over two meters in length and um if you're lying down in bed 
you can see your pillow about here. You've got plenty of space. I'm one meter seventy six. That's how much space we've got at the bottom. And then also we've all got these backrests, which makes it nice in the evening, in the mornings, if you just want to sit up. You don't really need any cushions because you've got the the backrests here to sit up against. Now behind the backrests, we've got a few things going on. So I'll move these forward. So we've got storage space down in here. You can put some bags down in the back here. We've actually got the pools for the uh, the kitchen awning in here at the minute. We've got the, the battery system down here and uh, mains charger as well as the, the solar controller, um, which is uh, which is charging the, the battery at the minute. And uh, we've got a fuse box here when we've got one of mains mains power supply. So that's behind there. And then in the front here, we have a couple of big storage cupboards. See, all metal cupboards here. So really built to last, rugged, good quality, lots of space on the inside, really deep. And we've also got this shelf underneath, which goes quite the way back as well to be able to, to store things on. Now in this model, I'll show you on the wall here, we've got um, a standard, you get your main socket, There's a couple of USB sockets there as well. And uh, we've got lights along the front here. And we've also got, to put these ones on, lights in the back. So you can sort of change the lighting around, make it uh, quite atmospheric by different, different settings there. But on this one, we've also got the and the heating system in as well. So this is the the mains powered heating system. A couple of different options. There is a um, there is an option to have a, a gas gas powered heater, and um, and this is the, uh, the the electric one. So this will only operate when you're on a mains mains power supply. So if you're going away somewhere cool in the winter, you want to have the heater on at night. Um, head to a, a mains hookup, and that's got a little thermostat on it. And then the footrest here, the uh, the hot air is actually blowing from uh, the system is behind the kitchen and it's blown through these gaps in the in the footwell so the heat sort of comes out and flows out into the, the cabin that way keeping it keeping it nice and warm okay and then the roof here we've also got uh, this is a an option on the on the hero ranger and uh, nice little bit of light in and uh, and also you can open it up to to have a bit of ventilation which is quite good if you've got the windows open and the roof and if you want to vent, get a bit of uh, ventilation through in the in the summer so that is the inside so i think that's pretty much the the walk around of the the hero ranger we will be doing more videos having a look around the hero traveler and we've also recently done one to look at the pro camp bush camp model that we do and they're all all, all a bit different but worth taking a look at on our youtube channel you can have a look at our website which is www.funfitadventure.com we've also got a facebook site instagram as well as the uh, the youtube channel so we'll catch up with you soon cheers